Have you ever wondered about the potential negative impacts of excessive masturbation? We're about to embark on a journey, exploring a topic that requires a touch of sensitivity and a dash of nuance. It's a discussion about the possible downsides of overindulgence in masturbation. Keep in mind that moderation is key, and professional guidance is always a good idea when it comes to personal health matters. Today, we delve into 10 potential negative impacts that excessive or compulsive masturbation might have on one's life. Excessive masturbation can lead to addiction-like behaviors. Now this isn't to say that everyone who masturbates will become addicted, but there's a potential for some folks to fall into a pattern where they feel compelled to engage in it more frequently than is healthy. This excessive engagement can start to disrupt the rhythm of daily activities and responsibilities. Imagine a scenario where you're unable to focus on your work, or perhaps you're missing out on valuable time with loved ones, all because you feel this overwhelming need to retreat and masturbate. This is when it becomes problematic. It's much like any other compulsion or addiction where the act itself takes precedence over everything else, making it difficult to maintain a stable, balanced life. Remember, it's all about moderation. Anything in excess can become harmful, even if it initially seems harmless. Excessive indulgence may lead to addiction, disrupting daily life. Overindulgence in masturbation may lead to sexual dysfunction. Now what does this mean? It's a bit like overeating. If you're always full from snacking, you might not have room for a nourishing meal. Similarly, if you're regularly experiencing sexual satisfaction solo, you could find it more challenging to get that same satisfaction from partnered activities. It's about conditioning your body and mind to respond to certain stimuli. If that stimulus is typically self-provided, the body can become desensitized to other forms of stimulation. This could mean that arousal or satisfaction during partnered sexual activities becomes harder to achieve. It's like your body saying, this isn't what I'm used to, so I'm not sure what to do. Just as variety is the spice of life, it's also the spice of sexual satisfaction. So, remember, desensitization can make it harder to enjoy partnered sexual activities. Spending excessive time on masturbation can lead to social withdrawal. This is a reality that many people face but it's often brushed under the rug. Let's pull it out into the light. Imagine having a hobby, a passion, that consumes so much of your time that you find yourself avoiding social events, turning down invitations from friends, not because you don't want to be there, but because this solitary activity is taking up too much of your time. This isn't just about missing a party or two. We're talking about a pattern that can lead to a gradual distancing from your social circle, a withdrawal into yourself. This isolation doesn't just affect you, it can also strain your relationships. Friends may feel ignored or neglected. Loved ones may start to worry. These impacts on your social interactions can lead to feelings of loneliness and disconnect. Excessive masturbation can lead to social isolation and strained relationships. Remember, it's all about balance, all about constant thoughts about or engagement in masturbation can be distracting. Imagine your mind constantly drifting to this act, like a pesky fly that just won't leave you alone. This persistent preoccupation can significantly affect productivity. Just think about it. Instead of focusing on your work, personal projects, or even that book you've been meaning to read, your mind is elsewhere. It's like trying to run a race with one foot stuck in the mud. Moreover, focus, that sharp pinpointed attention that's so crucial for success in any venture, can get blurred. It's akin to trying to see through a foggy window everything becomes hazy and indistinct, making it harder to achieve your personal goals. It's like you're in a car, but instead of driving towards your destination, you're just spinning your wheels in place. In essence, excessive masturbation can distract from important tasks, work, and personal goals. It's a potential roadblock on the path to achieving what you set out to do. In certain cultural or religious contexts, masturbation can be stigmatized. The stigmatization can lead to a cloud of guilt and shame enveloping those who engage in this natural act. It's like a heavy burden weighing down on their conscience, whispering words of self-deprecation into their ears. The guilt stems from the belief that they've done something wrong, and the shame from feeling that they, themselves, are wrong. These feelings can be so powerful and pervasive that they can overshadow and distort the person's sense of self-worth, leading to low self-esteem. Imagine walking around with an invisible scarlet letter, feeling the judgmental eyes of society on you, even when they may not be there. It's an internal struggle, a silent battle within one's mind that can be emotionally exhausting. 
The key to remember here is that these feelings of guilt and shame are not inherent consequences of masturbation, but rather, they are the products of societal and cultural norms and expectations. The stigma attached to masturbation can lead to feelings of guilt and shame. Excessive masturbation can cause physical discomfort. This sentence may sound surprising, but it's the truth. When masturbation becomes a compulsive behavior, it can result in physical effects that aren't often talked about. These effects can range from minor to severe, depending on the frequency and intensity of the behavior. One of the most common physical effects is genital irritation or soreness. This occurs when the delicate skin in the genital area is subjected to frequent and vigorous friction, leading to discomfort. In severe cases, this irritation can progress to painful sores that require medical attention. In extreme cases, compulsive masturbation can even contribute to physical injuries. Yes, you heard it right, physical injuries. This can include damage to the skin or in rare cases, more serious conditions like penile fracture, which is a medical emergency. These physical effects are certainly not something to ignore. Instead, they serve as a reminder that moderation is key in all aspects of life. Remember, physical discomfort or injury can result from excessive masturbation. Relying solely on masturbation for emotional gratification can hinder emotional resilience. This assertion may seem perplexing at first, but let's break it down. When we face stress or emotional turbulence, it's natural to seek relief. For some, this relief might come in the form of exercise, meditation, or even a good book. However, when masturbation becomes the primary means of finding emotional relief, it can become a crutch, stifling the growth of other more adaptive coping mechanisms. Consider it this way. If you have a toolbox and the only tool you have is a hammer, you'll likely start seeing every problem as a nail. The same goes for emotional coping mechanisms. If the only one you've got is masturbation, then you might start seeing every emotional hurdle as something that can be mitigated with it. This reliance isn't inherently harmful, but it can limit your ability to handle stress in diverse ways. Excessive masturbation can lead to emotional dependence and hinder the development of healthy coping mechanisms. Excessive masturbation might negatively affect intimate relationships. When it becomes a compulsion, it can create a wedge between partners, leading to misunderstanding and conflict. You see, in a relationship, intimate moments are not just about physical satisfaction. They are about emotional bonding, about sharing and caring, about mutual respect and understanding. However, if one partner is excessively engaged in masturbation, it could lead to a decrease in these shared intimate moments. The other partner might feel neglected or less desired, creating a rift in the relationship. This could lead to misunderstandings, as the partner might misconstrue the situation, thinking they are not attractive or good enough. Excessive masturbation can also lead to decreased intimacy. It's because the act of masturbation is often solitary, and relying on it for sexual satisfaction could reduce the desire for partnered sexual activities. This can create a distance between partners, affecting the overall quality of the relationship. In conclusion, excessive masturbation can strain relationships and lead to decreased intimacy. Spending significant time on masturbation can detract from other activities. The truth of this statement is more than just theoretical. There are only so many hours in a day, and every minute spent on one activity is a minute less for something else. Excessive masturbation can be a real time and energy drain, taking away from time that could be spent on hobbies, activities, or self-improvement endeavors that are fulfilling and meaningful. Imagine, if you will, the time spent on this act used instead to learn a new skill, practice a hobby, or even just to rest and rejuvenate. The energy used could be channeled into physical exercise, creative pursuits, or building relationships. When you think about it like this, it becomes clear how much can be gained by moderating the time and energy spent on masturbation. In conclusion, while masturbation in moderation can be a healthy aspect of one's life, excessive masturbation can drain time and energy that could be used for other fulfilling activities. Persistent negative thoughts about masturbation can contribute to a negative self-image. This is the final point on our list, but it's by no means the least crucial. Societal attitudes and personal beliefs play a significant role in shaping how we perceive ourselves. If we internalize negative messages about masturbation, it can lead to persistent feelings of guilt, shame, and inadequacy. This can be further exacerbated if we're engaging in excessive masturbation and feeling unable to control our behavior, such negative self-perceptions can affect our mental health profoundly. They can lead to symptoms of anxiety, depression, and low self-esteem. 
In severe cases, these feelings might even lead to self-destructive behaviors. It's important to remember that these feelings are not a reflection of who you are as a person. If you're struggling with these issues, it can be incredibly helpful to seek professional guidance or support. Negative self-perceptions due to excessive masturbation can contribute to mental health issues. In conclusion, it's important to remember that moderation is key. We've covered a spectrum of potential effects of excessive masturbation, from addictive behaviors, sexual dysfunction, and social isolation, to emotional dependence, negative impact on relationships, and detrimental self-image. While these may seem daunting, they're not inevitable. They are potential issues that may arise from overindulgence. Remember, it's all about balance and understanding your own needs. Always seek professional guidance or support if concerns arise regarding masturbation or its impact on your life.